Welcome to this daily office with the Iona community, which is taken from the Iona Abbey Worship Book. The service is taken from the form of morning prayer which we use on Iona, and so there are different prayers and psalms each day, and, over the course of each month, a cycle of prayers for the world, for different communities and for the concerns of the Iona community. The form of words on some of the slides has been changed to reflect a recent update. The service is interactive and you're invited to join in with the responses. You'll see all the words you need on the screen. The world belongs to God. The, the earth and all its people. How good it is, how wonderful to, to live together in unity. Love and faith come together Justice and peace join hands. If Christ's disciples keep silent, these, these stones would shout aloud. Open our lips, O God, and our mouths shall proclaim your praise. If the war goes on, and the children die of hunger, and the old men weep, for the young men are no more, and the women learn how to dance without a partner, who will keep the score? If the war goes on, and the truth is taken hostage, and new terrors lead to the need to euphemize. When the calls for peace are declared unpatriotic, who'll expose the lies? If the war goes on, and the daily bread is terror, and the voiceless Take the road as refugees When a nation's pride Destined millions to be homeless Who will heed their pleas? If the war goes on And the rich increase their fortunes And the arms sales soar as new weapons are displayed When a fertile field Turns to no man's land tomorrow Who approves such trade? If the war goes on Will we close the door to hell? If the war goes on Will we breach the gates of hell? Move among us, God, give us life. Let your people rejoice in you. Give us again the joy of your help. 
with your spirit of freedom sustain us. God, make our hearts clean. Renew us in body, mind and spirit. Let us pray. Trusting in God's forgiveness, let us in silence confess our failings and acknowledge our part in the pain of the world. Before God, with the people of God, I confess to turning away from God in the ways I wound my life, the lives of others, and the life of the world. May God forgive you, Christ renew you, and, and the Spirit enable you to grow in love. Amen. Before God, with the people of God, we confess to turning away from God in the ways we wound our lives, the lives of others, and the life of the world. May God forgive you, Christ renew you, and the Spirit enable you to grow in love. Amen. So now, as Jesus taught us, we say, Loving, Loving God in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us in the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. With the whole church, we affirm that we are made in God's image, befriended by Christ, empowered by the Spirit. With people everywhere, we affirm God's goodness at the heart of humanity, planted more deeply than all that is wrong. With all creation, we celebrate the miracle and wonder of life, the unfolding purposes of God, forever at work in ourselves and the world. You are God, our Deliverer, in whom all put their trust. All who live on earth, all beyond the horizon. By great skill and untold strength, you fix the mountains in place. You calm the raging seas and quieten the warring nations. People throughout the world stand in awe of your skill. Lands to east and west gratefully sing your praise. You care for the life of the planet, forever tending the ground. You nourish the fruits of the earth, the crops that feed your people. You water and level the land, blessing each season's growth. You crown the year with your bounty. Rich harvests are signs of your goodness. The open pastures are lush and hills are clothed with joy. The meadows are covered with sheep and valleys burst into song. Listen now in the reading of Scripture for the Word and Wisdom of God. The reading is taken from St. Paul's letter to the Romans in the 14th chapter.
for the word of God in scripture and other well springs of nourishment, for the word of God among us, for the word of God within us. Thanks be to God. Hear our prayer, O Lord, let our cry come to you. Do not hide your face from us, incline your ear to us. Long ago you laid the foundations of the earth, and the heavens are the work of your hands. You shaped human life and called us to live in harmony with all you have created and to be faithful stewards of the earth's resources. We confess that we have not been your faithful stewards. We have ignored, hoarded, squandered, consumed, misused, abused and destroyed. Forgive us, faithful God. On the 19th day, we pray for human rights and gender justice and for the Iona Community Common Concern Networks. And we pray for the following countries, for Myanmar, Thailand, Cambodia, Laos and Vietnam. And on this day we pray for members belonging to the family group of Yorkshire One. Naomi Anderson, 
Anna Briggs and Gordon Smith, Peter Coates, Patricia Cummings, Elaine Gisborne and Michael Gisborne, Christine Green, Barry Parker and Anne, Ruth Silla, Jane Speck and Paul Novak with Maisie and Harrison, Rosalind Sutcliffe and Pat Wellburn. And on this day of the month, we pray for associate members in the USA Northeast. Walk with them today, O God, and keep us on your way. O Christ, the master carpenter, you at the last, through wood and nails, crafted our whole salvation. Wield well your tools in the workshop of your world, so that we who come rough hewn to your bench may here be fashioned to a truer beauty of your hand. Amen. In work, rest and worship, God is with us. Gathered and scattered, God is with us. Now, and always. God is with us.